today we are going to prove that opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. So let's draw a parallelogram, a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. So we have this parallelogram and let's mark A, B, C, D. And in one of my videos, we have proven that opposite sides, opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So we know A, B is equal to C, D and BC is equal to AD. And if you have not seen my video before, you may see some eye popping up. You can click on this eye to go to my video where I prove that opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. And once we know that, we can draw a diagonal. Let's draw a diagonal AC. Let me make it blue. So let's draw a diagonal AC. And we know a side is congruent to itself. So you know AC is congruent to AC. So we have this very interesting thing going on. We know AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to BC because opposite because opposite sides because opposite sides are congruent. So you know this. And you know AC is equal to AC because of reflexive property. You know the, the one thing is going to equal to itself. So we have two triangles that's congruent. Explicitly, you have triangle ACD, so you have this red triangle, and you have triangle C, CBA, so you have triangle CBA and triangle ACD. So you know, so you know these two are congruent because of SSS, by SSS congruence, because DC and AB are the same, AD and BC are the same, and AC and AC are equal. You know by side, 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 you have three congruent matching sides that's congruent. You have triangle ACD, so you're going ACD is congruent to triangle. Now you want to go in the direction of three, then you want to go to one. So you want to say, you want to say CAB, CAB. You want to cross the three as you're going and you want to cross one. So these two are congruent. So what do we know now? We know the corresponding parts of the congruent triangles are congruent. So you know angle ADC, it has to be congruent to angle CBA. So you know these two angles are congruent because they are corresponding parts of two congruent triangles. So you have these two congruent angles. And now we wish to prove that this angle, this angle is congruent to this angle. So we have shown, we have shown that angle B is congruent to angle D. Now we wish to show angle A is congruent to angle C and that's very easy to do. All you have to do this time is draw a diagonal like this, draw a diagonal D BD instead of AC and apply the same SSS to two triangles that you have and you should get the same result. So by symmetry, you have angle A being congruent to angle C and we have proven that angle B is congruent to angle D and the opposite sides, uh, not opposite sides, we have already proven opposite sides in another video. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent.